New legislation could force tobacco companies to share the cleaning bills for cleaning up cigarette butts left on the floor around the United Kingdom. New research suggests that around 68% of all litter left on the floor is made up of these cigarette butts left by those who smoke and then just dump it on the floor. Now, many people have complained about the littering fines that are issued by local authorities or agents acting on behalf of local authorities. And there's been lots of blow up videos on TikTok where people are fighting against them, saying they don't have to pay it and they don't have to give their details. Neither of which are correct, by the way. But I've done a poll just this morning to ask you whether you think the tobacco companies should be forced to pay it or whether it should be those that are actually smoking and leaving the cigarette butts on the floor who should be forced to pay it. Because let's face it, somebody needs to clean them up and it needs to be paid for. Those that drop it probably don't realise that it gets cleaned up and that it costs money to do so. In fact, it's in the tens of millions of pounds every single year. The estimate is well above 40 million pounds a year that local authorities pay out to clean these up off the streets. And just as a brief interlude within my video, I'm very pleased to tell you that I am starting a podcast. It will be available on Spotify via anchor.fm. The link will be in the description below. I very much hope you'll go and listen to the episodes that I put out there because many of you have told me that you like to listen to my content but you can't watch the videos. And I don't want you to get accused of driving whilst having a YouTube video going on in the background. So instead of that, I will be converting much of this content into audio only for my podcast and there will be lots of dedicated podcast content going onto that link. So that will be in the description below. Please go to that link and add it and subscribe and add it to your favorites and all of that sort of stuff. And and I very much look forward to talking to you on my podcast. Back to the video. So if this legislation goes through, it will put a system in place whereby the tobacco companies will be sharing the cost of cleaning up that mess. Now, for those that have argued against the littering fines over on TikTok to say that they don't have to pay it and they don't have to provide any details, both of those are incorrect because local authorities and agents authorized by local authorities, which includes private firms, so long as they've gone through the proper procedures to authorize those officers to issue these fines, can issue and levy these fines fines against people that drop litter on the floor and that amounts to any kind of litter including cigarette butts. Now the definition of littering is dropping something on the floor and walking away and leaving it there. So on one reading of the legislation this is a strict liability offence meaning it doesn't matter whether you knowingly drop it or not because section 18 of the Clean Neighbourhoods and Environment Act of 2005 provides that a person is guilty of an offence if he throws down, drops or otherwise deposits any litter in any place to which this section applies and leaves it. So drops or otherwise deposits doesn't necessitate an intention to drop or otherwise deposit. Meaning if you've dropped or otherwise deposited litter in a place to which this section applies, you'll be guilty of an offence and those officers can fine you for littering under the legislation. The legislation also provides that if you are asked for your name and address, you must provide those details. And again, it's an offence not to do so. So in fact, the videos on TikTok where people are encouraging others to walk away and not provide their name and address are encouraging them to commit a further offence. And the party encouraged them to walk away is potentially guilty of perverting the course of justice. So this should be taken fairly seriously. But back to the point of the video. I left a poll this morning to ask you who should be paying for the cleanup because it certainly shouldn't be anybody that isn't dropping the litter but at the moment they certainly are because of course the local authority funding is ultimately coming from the taxpayer so the taxpayers collectively are paying for the cleaning bill which is at best guess more than 40 million pounds a year so as I said somebody needs to be cleaning it up and somebody needs to be paying for it so let me know what you think out of those two options in that poll this morning so I hope you found that interesting please do remember to like the video and subscribe and I'll see you next time